Hey, good morning, guys. Captain Justin here, and today we're talking about yacht management. We're gonna show you the system we use to manage 15 to 20 boats simultaneously. So if you're a captain and you wanna learn how to get oversight on your boat, your single boat, or your management company, and you're trying to manage multiple boats simultaneously, or you're a boat owner, and you just wanna know if your boat's being managed properly, this system is gonna be for you. So if you're a captain or a vessel manager and you're just stressed with all of the minuscule details, all of the things going on with yacht management, it's my hope that by sharing this system with you, you're gonna have a template for managing a vessel well, and it's just gonna make your life so much easier. If you're a vessel owner, this system is gonna do two things for you. Number one, you're gonna be able to enjoy your vessel with your family and friends more often because a well-managed vessel is operational for much more of the time. The second thing it's gonna do is you're gonna have a whole list of every maintenance item performed on your vessel. So when it comes time to sell your vessel, you're gonna have this whole list of maintenance records that is gonna make your boat 10 times more valuable than a vessel without these records. So the system we use is managed through an app called Asana. Now there are other apps out there that could probably do the same thing like Basecamp, but we just find that Asana has most of the functionality we need to manage our program. Now Asana is free for the first 15 users. And what I like about that is that if you're a small team or a single captain with a single boat, the whole system is basically going to be free for you to use. So within Asana, we manage each boat under projects. So each boat is a separate project and projects is further broken down into three separate sections, general info, maintenance items, and trips. Under general info, we put all the information that's pertinent to the boat. We take a photo of the certificate that shows the HIN number, any res vessel registration number, any document number, that anything that has to do with the boat, any numbers, HIN numbers, anything that you would ever need to know goes into general info. Next, we put a checklist for a startup procedure. That way we're checking ourselves, making sure we're following our checklist and starting our procedures. And if anyone comes new comes on board, they also have a checklist right there that they can access and see the proper way to do things for each boat. Same with shutdown procedures, coming back to shore, uh, plugging in shore power, all of that goes into general info. We like to take photos of documents and have it right there. That way, if one of us is somewhere else and we get a phone call from a broker, insurance agent, or anything like that requesting info, rather than calling somebody on the boat, or having to go there and leave through manuals, you pull out your phone and you have it right there in Asana. The next section, maintenance items, we list any maintenance items that we discover as we're moving around the boat. And you can also go through your manuals and schedule out periodic maintenance for any item on board. For example, generator service, strainer cleanings, or anything that's on a calendar, you can put it in and assign a date to it. And you can also assign it to yourself, you can assign it to a team member, or leave it blank. So if I'm in the engine room and I discover an oil leak, I'll pull my phone out, I'll snap a photo of it, and I'll immediately put it into it as a maintenance item for that boat. Whether I take care of it right then or not, now it's documented, now it's in there, and we can assign the appropriate resources. Things like hydraulic hose inspections, belts on engines, strainer cleanings, inspecting battery terminals for corrosion, things like that. Everything goes in the maintenance section. If you need to ask a question from one of your team members, rather than texting them, you can message them right in the app. You can target them by putting the at symbol and their name, and that will notify them that you're asking them a question in the app. If they have notifications turned on in the app, it's gonna pop up right away that there's activity going on. Once you create a task, you can assign it to yourself, you can leave it blank, but you can also invite team members or if the team members are already in, in that project, they're gonna see everything that's going on. So as you're doing your workflow, which we're gonna to get to in a minute, they're gonna see updates on their app if they have notifications turned on of the workflow. Also, you can invite the owner of the vessel as a comment only or view only in these sections, and they can watch the whole workflow, all the maintenance that's currently being done on their boat in real time. Once I've completed a task, I mark it complete, and that stays in the app permanently forever. You can also filter out tasks that need to be done, 
or you can look at the all view, which shows everything that has been completed, and you have a total record of all the maintenance done in your boat. Now, if a team member discovers a problem that they can't handle themselves and they need to call in a technician, we've created a special project called Vendors. Vendors are organized under separate sections, such as generator service, main engine service, HVAC, and things like that, where once you click on each task, it's going to show you all of your vendors. You put in your vendors and their phone numbers. So let's say you have a new team member on board and he's on board uh, one of your yachts and he needs, needs to call a generator technician. He can go into the generator section, see where you've already populated your vendors and give one of them a call. Once I arrive at the job site, I pull out my phone with the sauna and I click on the task, which is today is gonna to be AC strainers. Then I go into the feed and I take a photo of the job site and then I post it to the feed. That's gonna show in the workflow that I'm starting the task as it timestamps and dates it in the feed. So now that I've used Asana to snap a photo and start the workflow, I'm gonna go ahead and start the job. So C strainers, we're gonna close our valves. So, okay, so now that we've got our basket out, I like to take another photo, just showing the condition, which I'm again gonna post to the feed. So I've taken the photo, press this arrow here, and now it's updated in the app. So now we're gonna take this outside and clean it, and we'll be back to finish the job. Okay, so now we have a pretty clean strainer. So once again, I'm going to load my app, I'm gonna take a photo of it showing that we've got a nice clean strainer. I'm gonna post that to the feed. And we're gonna go put back to the pump room to put the strainer basket back in. Put that back in. And we open our valves. Okay, so now that we've Completed change in the strainer. I'm going to go back in my app. I'm going to take a photo of it. Again, post in the feed. And I'm going to mark it complete by checking this off here. So it says the task is completed. Now that's going to be in here forever. And if you want to go back, you can see that today we clean the strainer as a timestamp. Photos of when we started photos of the process, how dirty the strainer was, and when we completed it. And that's it guys, easy as that. So the third section is called trips. And under trips, we list every trip upcoming for the vessel. And that way we have a section where we can put in all of the information about that specific trip. We assign a captain, we put, we list the ports of call, any marinas and contact information, bridges that we have to go under, any details, provisioning, list of passengers, and our intended trip, the route for that, that trip. Once that trip is complete, we check it off. And another thing we've started doing is using an app called Nebo Global to track our GPS coordinates as we're going on the trip. It gives you our distance and it gives you a track line. And what we can do is drop a link from Nebo into Asana so that you can go through the trips, you can click on one, you can see exactly where you went for that specific trip. That gives you a record every time the boat's moved, who's moved it, where it's gone, the distance you've traveled, and it's all there permanently in Asana. The last and final feature I wanna point out in Asana is use of statuses. So for each project, you can set a green, amber, or red status. And the way we like to use it is if a boat is in a green status, that means it's fully operational. You can use the whole thing, you can take it out, use it, have fun with it, put it back to the dock. If it's in an amber status, that means you can still use the vessel, but there is something wrong with it that's pro prohibiting the full functionality of the vessel. For example, a radar is down, so or nav lights are inoperable, which means you can use it maybe during the day in high visibility conditions, but you can't really take it out at night. You can't take it on long journeys. Uh, and then the last is red status. So red status means there's something critical on board, like a main engine is down 
running gear is inoperable, or you're in a yard period. And what that allows us to do is when we scan through our whole list of managed boats, we can see at first glance how many are in green status, how many are in red status. And if we have red status boats, we know we have to work really hard to get those back up and running as soon as possible. And that's basically it, guys. That's the whole system. And I hope you got something out of it. And let us know in the comments if you're using a similar system or you're doing things a little bit better than we're doing. And we, we're always trying to grow and learn and do things better. So let us know if you have any suggestions. And I hope you got something out of it. And if you do, like, comment, subscribe, uh, and share it out. You know, it, we, we do this just because it's made my life a lot easier. It's really lowered my stress level. And I hope it can do the same for you. Thanks for watching. I'm Captain Justin.